Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a case review for a case for the Z Fold 3 that you probably shouldn't buy. Like, it's just the worst. <laughs> and I, I hate starting off a video so negative and you, the lights are not red back there. I, Samsung apparently tried here. I just, on good conscience, could not recommend this case to anybody. And it's one of theirs. It's the Samsung official leather case. It's the, I'm trying to remember the name here. It's the leather flip stand cover case. So not only does it act as a cover for the front of the screen, but it also has this rinky dink little piece of leather tassel on the back that makes into a stand. And it's mostly the worst idea ever. And it's $90. Like if this were a $25 case, I'd be like, okay guys, that's not, that's all right. But at $90, it's a big 100% fat no from me. And I'm going to go in and show you that some of the stuff on this case, we're going to review it and all that jazz, but save yourself some money. Don't buy it. Anyway, let's go ahead and talk about this case and just get on with it. But anyway, oh, right. Yeah, if you do like the video, then please hit the like and the subscribe button. That'd be really cool for my channel. And also, if you want to come back and see more videos later, because I'm always making them, hit the little notification bell as well. Okay, let's talk about the case. So I'm here with the leather flip stand cover. It looks really nice. And one thing that I have to say, I have to give them credit. It is a really nice case and the leather is really good quality too. I have been really impressed the last couple of years with the leather cases that Samsung makes for their phones. I totally love the one for the Z Flip. I've had the one with my Fold 2, which here, this guy. I loved it and it was green leather. So I thought, here, let me get the green leather case this go around. But they didn't have the... I call this one the Ninja Turtle case because it's only half a shell. Here was in a half shell. Uh -huh. Anyway, so this one on the Z Fold 2, I totally loved it. And it was just on the back, which of course was way overpriced too. This one, I was like, okay, cool. It's on the back, but it also kind of goes around to the front. So that's neat. And it is functional. I mean, whenever you open the case up, it, the cover flap, it does turn the screen on. When you close it, it turns the screen off. I like that. Saves some battery. Kind of an old nostalgic feel to it with the old flip cover cases. And then after that, you're like, this is just really not a good case. One, when you're using it, the cover just flaps around in the wind all the time. And if you do put it behind it, the material is so loose because of all this excess over here that you never have a secure grip on the phone. And it's constantly doing this because the leather's really smooth and this leather's really smooth. So that's what it does the whole time while you're holding it. It shifts around in your hand. On top of that, when you open it up all the way, one, it gets pinched in the in the back of the crease. Like in the hinge, when you open it up, you'll see here, you see how there's like a little bit of a, a, a area to pinch there. It will get stuck in there sometimes. And then I'm like, okay, well, that's not cool. And then when you have it open, this is like one of the best of all. Take a look at this. All right, so this looks good, right? Looks really good from the back. And then you flip it around to the front. And you're like, this is hanging off over on the side which completely gets in the way the whole time that you're holding the phone and trying to use it. It's like, what, what even is this? Now I get that they have to do it because they need the excess material. It's really hard to make cases for these phones. And if Samsung can't figure it out, I do give a little bit more credit to the third party case makers, but it, this thing is a mess people. And I, I wish I could just chop the side off over here and just use it like the old one. There is a point to it, the old half shell case, because if you set it down, typically people don't set their phone down on the, on the display, you use the back of the phone. So if you place it down, you're good. And then it's nice when you're holding it, it feels premium. Really, it should only be about 30, 35 bucks. It shouldn't be like the $70 they wanted last year. $90, they want $89.99. If you live in a sales tax state, there's even more than that. Here it's 8.025%. So yeah, it's like $97. Who would pay $97 for this? The only reason Samsung even got away with this remotely is because they gave you all that credit whenever you bought the phone and you were like, well, I don't have enough credit to buy a watch without spending an extra $100. I don't want a power brick for $40. I don't want a power charging station. So I'll get a case. I'm going to need an accessory, right? Hold on. Good gosh, people. Okay, this is a proper rant now. This is a stupid case. Like, why did they make this? I don't know who was sitting around in like the their design department that looked at this and said, this is awesome, sell it. 
but sell it for $90. You know why this is $90? Because they're like, if some sucker is actually going to buy this, we need them to pay that much because nobody else is actually going to buy it. So we need to make as much money as possible. This thing probably costs them $4 to make. Like I, I don't even get it. No, here's the best part. So you can actually use it as a stand. Okay, like if you don't want to watch your phone like this, you can watch it like this, right? So here we go. Go with me on this one. You have this little tassel on the back, which moves every time you put it in your pocket. It's always doing this number. So you reach in your pocket, the little tassel's out to the side. It has this little clippy thing right here which is almost as useless as Clippy from Microsoft Office, which they're bringing back, by the way. They're bringing, they're bringing back Clippy. As if 2020 and 2021 weren't terrible enough, we're getting Clippy back. So now when you can't figure anything out on Office, the stupid little paper clip's going to pop up again and piss you off. So here, you attach it to the back here. This little floppy soft cover on the top goes into place. And then look, you have the world's most secure stand. That Does it go like this? Does it go like this? I don't know. It does whatever it wants because it's trash piece of crappy leather. I mean, it's not crappy leather. It's just loose. It's really good quality leather. I said that at the beginning. It's nice. It's soft. It feels premium. I love the leather that they use. Like, I wish I could talk to them and be like, look, bros, we need to find a better way to use this. You're killing a lot of cows with really bad purpose. So I, I think here that there's a better way. Even if we just chop off the front thing, go back to the old half shell, Go back to the Turtle Power, Ninja Turtle case. I'll be happy. But this right here, in the words of, I don't know, whatever generation this is, this ain't it, Chief. It ain't. So if you just have $90 you want to spend on this case, go for it. Uh, I got it with the credit that I was using because I was like, well, I've got nothing else to use it on. Whatever. I'll just, fine, I'll get it. It looks like it could be all right. I was wrong. Uh, there is like a little slight cutout area here, so you can you can talk on it on the phone while it's closed. So you can do that too. It doesn't encumber the speakers. The only thing it encumbers is you actually using your phone. And that's about it. So that's all I've got. Oh, it does come in some really other crappy colors. I do like the green. It also comes in black. I think it comes in a color, camel color as well, which, why? But anyway, so yeah, I would say stay away from this unless you just have a lot of money you want to spend for no reason. Anyway, so that's all I got in this. I'm actually, I'm going to cut this under eight minutes too, so you guys don't have to worry about watching the mid-roll. I know not all heroes wear capes. This is more of a PSA, FYI. I already heard him cut this off. So that's all I got in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Oh, and as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.